Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Chris here. Um, gonna do a quick video on something I saw that made me sick to my stomach. As you all know, it is uh, midterm season for our, our elections in November. The November midterms are coming up, and our first candidate for the fuck you, dude, what the fuck ad comes out of Arizona. Uh, the guy running against Mark Kelly. I might even get to dignify his name. Dignify him by saying his name because he's a piece of shit. Um, in his ad, uh, he's he, the ad is basically an old west duel where he's going up against Nancy Pelosi, crazy eyes Nancy, as he put it, old Joe, Joe Biden, as he put it, and shifty Mark Kelly, Mark Kelly, who is his uh, Democratic opponent. For those of you who don't know who Mark Kelly is, he ran for Senate, the Senate last year. He won in like a runoff because both senators quit in Arizona. They just said, fuck this, I'm out. And he won the special election. He became senator for the rest of that term and stuff like that. Mark Kelly is the husband of a former Senator Gabby Giffords. For those who don't remember Gabby Giffords, she was a senator who got shot in the fucking head and almost died. Okay? Like somebody came to a book sign and she was doing, shot her in the fucking head and she almost died. This son of a bitch does an ad where he simulates gunning them down Old West style like an adult. Like, Really? This, this is the problem because it's a, a thing that's been going on in all, for a while in political ads, especially on the Republican side of shooting shit or gunning shit down. And you wonder why January 6th fucking happened. All they have is violence because they can't run on fucking policies because they don't fucking have any. Facts. They don't have any actual policies to run on, so all they have is fermenting and stoking violence. So, this ad is kind of like, oh, what if someone shoots at Mark Kelly like they did Gabby Giffords? Oh my god, I can't believe this happened. You told them to in the fucking ad you ran. Or when Joni Ernst, like, didn't she shoot, like, a, a Bill Obamacare or something? Couple of people have shot Obamacare, shot at various bills that were proposed by Democrats, like shooting bills and legislation. Like all their ads have guns. Like we're gonna we're gonna shoot down this, we're gonna gun down this, and all this other stuff. And then when something violent happens, like January 6th, everybody's shocked. They're stoking the shit on because they don't have actual policies. They don't. If they did, they would run on them and they would use that to kind of win their campaigns. But they don't. So that all they have, because all they have is stoking up anger and hate and violence. This is an undisputed fact. Because if they had policies, January 6th doesn't happen. Stand back and stand by. Remember that shit? Because I do. They did that. And then, when they were told to act, they fucking acted. And our democracy almost fell because of it. And they're still out there, and they're still waiting to act again. You look at what's happening in Canada. It's a pre- and over in England, which may be happening there. All of it's a precursor a test run for doing it here again and perfecting it this time so it works. If any, and let me go on record before anyone comments on this video, if a Democrat ran an ad shooting or simulating shooting a Republican politician, I would call that shit out as disgusting too. Because it is. Violence is, has no place in our political discourse in this fucking country. It doesn't. 
If you can't win on your ideals, then you don't deserve to fucking win. It's that simple. If the other side has better ideas than you, then they win. And you go back to the drawing board and you come up with better shit. That's how it's always supposed to be. That's how it's worked for 100, 200 plus fucking years in this country. And that's how it always should be. Because anything gained at the end of a gun will not last. I've seen it happen. People that gain power at the end of a end of a gun don't usually hold on to it. They never do. Because someone comes with a bigger gun and takes them out. That's just how that works. Law of the streets. It applies in politics too. Anyway, just want to put a quick one out there. To that politician, go fuck yourself. No, I didn't name you. No, I don't want to name you. You don't deserve to be fucking named. You deserve to be trounced out. And again, and I I call on Republican politicians to call this out and to just dismiss this guy or call this out for the bullshit it is. Somebody other than Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney. I, I implore like Mitt Romney. Anyone other than those guys. Like a Mitch McConnell or a Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is ballless. He won't do it. But I implore any Republican politician to call that shit out and say that's unacceptable. Especially given what happened to Mark Kelly's wife. What happened to Gabby Giffords? I want a Republican politician to call it out. I already know Democrats are going to do it. They're going to say it all right. They're saying it right now. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's uncalled for. It's, what the fuck? You know what happened to his wife, right? What are you doing? Like, he is like, okay, that's fucked up. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. We already know what happened. We already know why. You know, but... I, they're already saying it's fucked up, but I want a Republican with some balls to call this stupid shit out. Because it leads to what happened on January 6th. It leads to another Trump. It leads him back to power. And that cannot happen again. Anyway... Doing a quick video, not taking too much time. I was on Twitter. I saw it, had to react. Like I said, you will get my unfurnished opinion on stuff like this. So y'all can say I'm a, a crazy liberal. I don't give a fuck. I am a liberal. More of a democratic socialist than a liberal at this point. Probably more progressive than anything. I don't know. All I know is I'm sick of the bullshit and these type of ads need to fucking stop. They're unacceptable, especially after what happened last year in January 6th. These ads have to stop. They have to be stopped. There has to be a better way to do discourse than bullshit fucking ads like this. And we've got to make our politicians be better than this. Anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, get faxed, get boosted. In Maryland, we've we've done our part. Like, Maryland ha- did its thing, being handled theirs. The rest of the country, it's on you. But let's get this done so we can end this and get back to normal. Peace.